Welcome to the Red Vault. I have to warn you before starting about the duration of the video because today we will check this Mesa Dual Rectifier Road King 2. First of all, I hope you enjoyed the introduction track. In the audio, I mixed the guitar tracks with a small EQ and compression tights and I add some bass and drums to represent the high gain sound, chugging metal sound of the amplifier. And now we will hear every channel of the amplifier itself and it will be a long video because we have six 12AX7 tubes as preamp tubes and we have two, what was it? It's IL34. We have two IL34s with four 6L6 tubes. Also, we have two 5U4 tubes as rectifier tubes. It's since it's a dual rectifier, we have two the rectifier tubes. In this amplifier, you can use each of every channel either as two IL34 or two 6L6 or two from one and two from the other, or you can use four 6L6 or you can use four 6L6 plus two IL, yes, IL34. I'm always mixing the ICC and IL. Anyway, we have lots of different tubes and we can change and we can get lots of different combinations as power tubes. And in this video, we will check four different channel of the amplifier and we have raw, vintage, modern and some similar adjustments on the clean channels as clean and pushed as far as I remember. I can't see <laughs> other side of the amplifier from here. You know me, I, I don't care. The clean sound of the amplifiers but I want to represent this. Also we have reverb on this amplifier and we can control the level on the each of every channel so we don't have a simple. Also I have to show you the foot switch of this beast as you can see it's nearly as as, as wide as the amplifier itself it's it's like a sword it's it's weird actually it's it's impractical but we can control each of every channels also, you can open up and close the reverb. Also, we have some mute for tuner. Also, we have loop one, loop two and solo knobs, but but I, I never used this thing. I'm always playing my amplifier like this. And now let's talk about our signal chain and then let's hear this beast. In this video, I will use, just like most of my videos, I will use this Jackson King V Pro of mine. It's a trustworthy friend from 2013. And on this guitar, we have Alder Buddy, Maple Neck, Ebony Fretboard, Set Neck Construction, Samer Duncan JB, and 59 with Floyd Rose 1000. The scale is 25.5 and it's tuned to C standard. This thing goes to a tuner, chromatic tuner, and this tuner goes to Maxon OD808. And since it's a dual rectifier, we have to boost the high gain channels to get some some true chugging metal sound and this amplifier connected to my Mesa rectifier 4x12 oversized cabinet which is loaded with Celestion UK Mesa V30s and the cabinet is on the other room. I hope you can hear the let's I hope you can hear it it's on the other room and there's an SM57 which is placed as half cap, half cone right in front of the amplifier and that microphone goes to my Tescam M2600 Mark II and I'm using this as an analog preamp without any post EQ, post touch, nothing and the Tescam goes to the Focusrite 18i20 which is an AD converter at this point and you are hearing... Let's see... Now, let's start. First of all, I want to start with the clean and let's switch to the clean. Yeah, we are on the... I hope you can see there, there are three different lights which represents the active power tubes and we can switch those, but it will be a hard one. Anyway, let me show you the reverb first. I, I don't want to represent it again. It's all the way up.
I think I have to put my microphone just like this. Here's the bass. By the way, since I'm too close to the amplifier, there's a noise, as you can hear. It's not about the electricity or the amplifier itself, it's just what it is. And let's play with the gain. Now let's switch the power tubes. Now we are on the 46L6. Now we are on the 2IL34 and 2 6L6. Let's switch it again. As you can see, we are decreasing the amount of the tubes. Now we are on the 2IL34. switch to the 26L6 On the post process I will match each of every every attempt every audio but actually the the, the output level is decreasing at this moment because we, we are decreasing the amount of the power tubes one by one actually And let's open it again all the way up. And let's check the pushed. Actually, we have clean, fat, and what what it is? Tweet. Now we are on the fat channel. Let's decrease the bass. Let's decrease the gain because it's 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 it start start roaring. Let's go back to the clean. Fat again.
and let's go to the tweet. this configuration you know I'm not a Marshall guy I don't like the boxy mids of the amplifier and and it sounds like a good Marshall to my ears <laughs> can use this tone either for some old school heavy metal sound you know like from the 70s or 80s or it can be a good tone for some cross punk type of harsh sound you know they are they are they sound really thin but aggressive at the same time <laughs> I liked it. So this was clean channel. Now let's switch to the second channel. Whoop. So let's start with clean again. This time I won't show the effect of the power tubes or the reverb. We will just check the modes of the channel. Let's play with some presence. And let's go to the neck pickup. Here's the mid. And here's the treble. And let's play with some gain. And let's go to the fat. And now we are on the bridge. There's the boxiness that I don't like. Let's lose some mid.
You know, I'm not the biggest fan of this type of sounds, but it's something and this thing has it. You know, there's something boomy going on the background. To hold this thing, we have to open up the OD808. By the way, I was on the modern section. Here's, anyway, let's start with the modern. I switched the four channels mode switch. And now let's play with the power tube. Now all of the six tube, and now every one of them is active. Now we are using the four six R sixes. There's a drastic decrease. There's a drastic decrease on the output level. And let's switch to the two from one and two from the other. I will go back and forth between four six out sixes and two from one and two from the other. Let's go to the two power tubes, which are, let's see, two I L two. And let's make this comparison between two six L sixes and two I L thirty fours. That that six L six. And now let's and now let's increase the power tubes again.
now let's go to the vintage. And let's go to roll. And now let's check my favorite, the 4th channel. Let's start from row. Let's lose the 808. And let's open up some OD. And now, let's check the modern section of the 4th channel. I want to demonstrate you something. I want you to focus to the game characteristics while I'm playing with the treble and mid knobs. You know, most of the amplifier, most of the modern amplifier, you can control the gain with only the gain knob. But on this amplifier, the mid, treble and gain knobs are kind of cascading through each other. Because of it, you can find some different sweet spots while 
tweaking the those knobs it's the reason of beauty of this amplifier let me show you let's lose the gain first Presence is noon, bass is noon, let's fr start from the noon. it will be more visible and now let's open up the gain and then let's decrease the mid and treble When I open up this knob, it's not boosting the mids actually, I want you to focus. It's not only the mids, and now let's open up the treble and it will change everything. And then let's add some presence. Now let's play with the power tubes again.
compared to the Multivat Dual Rectifier, it's way darker when I play on the four 6L6 tubes, but when I open up the amplifier to the six power tubes, it's as open and as harsh as a dual rectifier, multivat dual rectifier. <laughs> You know, before meeting with this amplifier, I always labeled myself as a conventional guy to explain my love to the simple amplifiers without that much of channels or knobs. And after meeting this amplifier, I amazed with the options, the, the effect and the beauty of lots of different options, you know. And since in this studio we are recording drums, bass and guitars to create a track as an end product, we want to create some original sounds and to achieve it, using amplifiers like this can be better compared to those new mix ready sterile amplifiers. You know, still they are not as worse as the plugins when it compares to the dynamics, not about the guitar sounds itself. You can get some good sounds from plugins as well. I'm not saying they are bad, but still they are not as dynamic as real amplifiers, real old tube amplifiers, especially when you want to hear the effect of your own hands while playing you know after meeting with this amplifier i figured out i can adjust the characteristics of the amplifier of the guitar sound while considering the sound of snare sound of kick sound of bass or sound of vocals before start mixing and actually in these days that's what gives me joy while i'm producing or while i'm recording because of it we have this old analog board too old analog mixing console and I like to play with this type of amplifier. You know, each of every attempt it gives a different result compared to the different drum sounds. You can get lots of different guitar sounds. You know, a Mesa always sounds like a Mesa, but you can get thousand different Mesa sounds if we consider the effect of the drum or effect of the bass. Because of it, I really liked it. Because of it, I sold my Multivat. It was a killer amplifier too, but I, I, I like the options i like the spectrum i like to be able to go back and forth through the whole spectrum because of it i love this amplifier and i know this video isn't enough and it won't be enough no matter what you have to find one if you are curious about it you have to find one try one and i know if i would use an em a guitar with emg 81 the result would, would be different because i played this thing with an emg 81 too but if i would want to use a different guitar the video would be probably two hours i'm not sure it's it's already 53 minutes while i'm shooting this video i'm not sure about the end products duration but i hope this video will give you an idea about the abilities of this road king 2 also i hope my comments will light a bulb on your minds to leave your comfort zone and explore some different stuff if you can find one just try one you will be mesmerized by the sound of this thing anyway this was road king with a Mesa Rectifier cabinet, with a Jackson King V Pro loaded with Samer Duncan JB. I'm Tolga Sert, you were at Red Vault. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe the channel, and please don't forget to leave your opinions in the comment section. Till the next video, see ya.